right, so my name is Sierra, and I'm going to be your nurse today. Um, we're going to be doing a full head-to-toe assessment on you, just to make sure everything's in working order. Um, we'll go over any concerns you have, um, any questions you have. Um, you know, just make sure everything's tip-top shape, and if it's not, we'll look into it, okay? Um, do you have any questions for me? Um, nope. All right. So I'm just going to verify your name and date of birth. So could you uh, <coughs> tell me your name and date of birth? Stephen John Pierre, um, 12706. All right. Nice, nice. All right. So I'm going to just wash my hands, provide privacy so no one can see us, and we have, you know, some privacy. Um, I'm going to raise the bed just to make sure that you're in a nice, comfortable position, and I am in ergonomic form so I don't hurt myself. So we're going to start by asking um, if you have any pain today. So are you feeling any pain? No. No pain? Okay, that's good. Um, so I'm going to note your position in bed. So you're in, you know, a sunny fowler, so, you know, it's at least 30 degrees. Um, you're upright, um, relaxed. Your face appears to be even. Um, you don't seem to be grimacing or have any, you know, um, Psychosis or facial droop. Um, let's see. We are we um, would start by doing a full vital sign assessment. So I would do a pulse. So we listen to for thirty seconds. Um, when so I would compare it to the I would watch the uh, clock and then I would take the pulse for thirty seconds. If it was abnormal, I would um, do a full sixty. And it's the same for. Um, your heart rate as well. So I take that and then I would also do a two-step blood pressure. So I would put the cuff on you and I would feel for your pulse and pump up until it goes away and then I would note that number, release the air, put my stethoscope underneath and pump that up to where your pulse disappeared and then I would listen to the first sound and then the last sound and that would be your systolic and your diastolic. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So um, the normal for an adult is 120 or over 80 or less. Um, the normal pulse for an adult is 60 to 100. Anything more or less would be something we need to look into. Um, same for your heart rate. So your heart rate is actually going to match your pulse. So your heart rate, um, I would listen to your heart sounds. Um, that would be the same, so 60 to 100. Um, so we would also do pulse oximetry. So you should have at least 95. Um, so we're just measuring the oxygen capacity in your blood. Um, so pulse, blood pressure. Um, we also take your temperature. So normal is about 37 and a half degrees Celsius or so. Uh, for everyone's baseline is a little bit different, but anywhere from you know 97 to 99 is you know any more than that you're getting out of out of normal. So. Um, so yeah, that's temperature, blood pressure, pulse, heart rate, pulse oximeter. Okay. Um, so we got all your we got all your vital signs the way we needed to. Um, we'll move on. So uh, your next step would be your level of consciousness. So we're just making sure that you're oriented to your surroundings. So can you tell me your name and date of birth? Stephen John Pierre, 12706. Do you know what day it is? It is Friday. Okay, and do you know what month it is? November. And what year? 2019. All right, so you're aware and oriented times four. Um, you're replying and understanding the conversation that I'm having, so you're your responses are appropriate and they match what we're talking about. You know what time it is, so you, you feel oriented and everything like that. Um, so, we'll move on to your, um, your skin. So your skin looks dry, intact, and pink, or you know, you know, your normal, um, there's no presence of lesions or any bed sores, which would be good. 
Um, we also want to check for bruises, anything like that. You're not diaphoretic, which is um, sweaty. So overly sweaty could be a sign of heart issues. Um, you just make sure that everything's nice and, you know, the way it needs to be. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Interesting one. So we'll move on to this point, your, your neuro assessment. So um, it's just good to check um, your eyes. So I'm gonna put your my finger right here, just look right at it, and I'm gonna check. All right, so we check for perla, so just making sure that your eyes are round, reactive, even, matching lateral um when we turn the light into it three millimeters is normal for your your eyes to react um you're able to follow commands at this point so um why don't you just do this for me put your note hand finger to your nose all right so you can follow commands and you can understand you're able to communicate pretty clearly um i'm also going to check um so we just need to be able to see if you can tell the difference between these two feelings so dull and then sharp. So that's good. You can feel the difference between those two. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's nice and good. Um, I'm not noticing any, when you put your hand out like this, I'm not noticing any tremors. So you have no tremors present. Everything seems nice and intact. Um, I already checked your level of consciousness. Everything is good there. I'm going to move on to your cardiovascular system. So I will listen. So we do the mnemonics. Um, all people enjoy Times Magazine. So I would at this point listen to your heart sounds. So we're going to start on the right side. So aortic, second intercostal space, pulmonic, second intercostal space on the left, curves point, third intercostal on the left, tricuspid, fourth intercostal on the left, and then mitral is the fifth intercostal. So this is just different areas that you can listen to the, to the heart sound. Um, the normal sound would be considered normal sinus rhythm. So your heart rate actually sounds regular. I would listen for 30 seconds just to make sure um, if it was at irregular, I would switch to the, the other side just to make sure um, and listen. But there's no, there's no adventitious sound, so everything sounds, you have normal sinus rhythm, it's a regular, no, uh, no murmurs, it's just a normal love dub. So um, I would also check for a pulse deficit, so I would listen to your heart and then I would also feel for your pulse and those should be the same so if I I listen to 80 heartbeats per minute you should also have 80 if it doesn't match up that would be a pulse deficit but you do not have one present so your pulse no no pulse deficit noted um, we also would check for edema so you do not have edema there is a scale one through four um, but you have no no edema present, so that's um that's good. We also check for um, your cap refill, so we're just making sure that your blood can return for less than three seconds. So that's good. Um, Um, are you having any pain or discomfort in your chest? No. No? No pain? Okay, that's good. Um, all right, I'm going to move on to the respiratory. So, um, actually, we check your respiratory rate and I listen to your lungs. So there's three lobes on the right and two on the left. So I would start by listening and just 
So I'm going to listen to your right. So can you just take a deep breath for me? Upper low. And you can let go. Just breathe in, in, in and out. And then I'm going to do it on the left, right, left upper low. And then right middle low. Right lower low. Left lower low. All right, and then we'll just have you sit up and we'll do the same. So we'll only do four on the back. So right upper low. Right left upper low, uh, left upper low. Right lower low. Left lower low. All right, everything sounds clear. There's no signs of strider or um, wheezing. There's no, cre uh, there's not crepitus, no crepitus. It's, um, there's no, uh, you have to get a word. Um, so there's no, um, there's no adventitious lung sounds. So everything's clear, no crackles, nothing like that. So, um, that's good. Um, I note when I first like start checking your respiratory, if there's any nasal flaring or um, orthopenia. So you you seem like you're able to breathe pretty relaxed. You're not having any issues, and um, you're not. You said you're not having any pain or or discomfort in your chest. Um, so I'm gonna have you cough and deep breathe for me. So I'm just gonna have you take in a deep breath, and then just let out a couple of deep coughs. <coughs> Does that hurt? Is there any problems? No discomfort? No. no? Okay. Um, so you do not have sputum come up, but if you did have sputum, we would note the color, the consistency, if there's any odor, anything like that, because it could be, you know, that could be a sign of infection, but no, no, uh, no secretions. So that's good. Um, so respiratory. Um, the re regular respiratory rate is, you know, between 10 and 20 for an adult. Um, I did that in your vital signs. So everything, you know, everything seems pretty good. You're not having any labor, labored breathing. So at this point, I would, um, I'd move on to your gastrointestinal. So I would just check your, your mouth. So if you can go ah for me. Ah, all right, so your mouth is pink, moist, and intact. Your dentition is good, no signs of um, dental decay. Your tongue is pink, midline, and moist. Um, can you swallow for me? Are you having any pain or difficulty swallowing? No? Okay, that's good. Um, so we also check for your bowel sounds, um, which we start in the we do a clockwise man manner. So we start in the right lower quadrant. Right upper quadrant. Left upper quadrant. And then left lower quadrant. If we thought that there was no vowel sounds, um, we would need to listen to it for a full five minutes just to make sure that there really isn't any sounds because sometimes it can be a little bit less active and that doesn't mean that you're not having any it's just there's not as many here so um if they're not present if i think if i think i'm not hearing anything i need to listen for a full five minutes before i determine that um so i would move on after i auscultate and i i inspect your your abdomen make sure everything is feeling comfortable um i would actually palpate so just making sure you know, in each quadrant, so the right lower, right upper, left upper, and then right lower, uh, left lower. So just making sure there's no pain or abnormal, you know. So are you feeling any pain when I'm when I palpate at all? No. Okay, that's good. Um, you don't want to feel any pain or any discomfort. Um, there shouldn't be any, you know, weird lumps or or anything sticking out. Um, we would check for. Um, so you can get hernias if you push 
too hard or like lift something too heavy so you can get in, in inguinal hernias in your inguinal canal and you can also get like so we would check for stuff like that um so i'm also going to ask you about how regular you go so um how often do you defecate what's what's normal for you how often do you poop um usually once a day so once every two days okay and that's normal for you are mm -hmm. you having any issues any pain or discomfort going no no okay um and your diet how is how do you feel like you're tolerating or you having any anything that's making you sick or you tolerating well mm -hmm. okay um do you have any pain or bleeding any hemorrhoids no no okay that's good um so i'm gonna move on to your genital urinary so i'm just gonna ask you a few questions about um urination so um are you having any pain or discomfort urinating no no okay do you have any issues starting or like you know being able to go no no are you um voiding regularly yeah okay um when you do go um what's the normal color so is it um, it's clear yellow like a light yellow and clear okay um and there's no there's no there's no um sediment or anything like that there's no um foul smells or cloudiness because that could be an indication of infection Okay, so that's good. Um, do you have any issues, like do you have any rashes or any lesions that you're concerned about? No. Okay, that's good. So your skin is intact and, you know, that's good. <laughs> uh, so, your genital urinary. Um, so I would move on to your, your musculoskeletal. So I would check, um, you know, I actually forgot the um, the pulses, so like during the cardiovascular, but I'll do this during the muscular because it can fit right in because I'm going to be dealing with your whole body. So um, this would actually go your cardiovascular, but I would do your, your carotid, brachial, radial, femoral, popliteal, um, posterior tibial and then dorsal pedalis. So that's part of the cardiovascular, but we, I, you know, I forgot that part, but um, I just included it in your, you know, your musculoskeletal. So I'm just gonna make sure everything's working pretty good for you. So I just have to, um, can you do this with your wrists, your range of motions? Okay, um, how about with your elbows? And then same with your arms. All the way up all the way down same with your neck forward and back okay and then could you do the same with your ankles up and down um and same with your hips out to the side and back on both sides all righty looking pretty good all right so i'm also going to do your muscle strength at this point so i'm just going to put my hands up and then you're going to press up against my hands all right and then press down and then i'll do the same for your feet so Press up against my hands, and then down against my feet. All right, so your muscle strength is five plus in all your extremities, which is to be expected. Um, that's the normal finding. Um, so I would also feel in your joints were crepitus. So if you just want to raise your arm, and then like also just make sure everything's comfortable. Are you having any pain or or grinding or anything like that in your also with your knee, like just. No crepitus noted. All right, so I would also ask you if you have any assistive devices. So uh, do you use a wheelchair or crutches or anything like that? No. No? Okay, um, that's good. Um, just make sure that you're not having any pain or discomfort, anything like that. Um, okay, so, um, this point I am all done my assessment um, do you have any questions or need anything from me no all right so your call bell is right here and I'm gonna lower the bed back down just make sure you're safe have your side rails up and I'm gonna go document just let me know if you need anything okay all right, all right.